Hey everyone, it's Lexi. Welcome to Top 5 Wednesdays. If you're new to Top 5 Wednesdays and want to learn more about the group, I'll have everything linked down below so you can go check out the Goodreads group. Uh, but today's topic is the second book is the best. This is one that I was like, oh, this one's easy because I feel like a lot of the books in this series, I usually, like especially trilogies, I feel like I enjoy the second book more so than the other ones. So this one was pretty easy for me to like find books that I, um, that I've enjoyed more. So all of these are trilogies, I guess like a trilogy except one. I want to say one's a little bit like if you sort it out that way, but um, I guess it's three, like maybe like four trilogies and then one series. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. So this one was like the first one that I thought of and it was Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins and this is obviously the second book in the Hunger Games trilogy. So I was not the biggest fan of the Hunger Games, the book um, itself. And then the third one, I had a lot of issues with it. It was basically this like Katniss sleeping in a closet basically the whole time and there wasn't a lot of stuff going on. The second book was really where I got intrigued with the series. It was the one that I enjoyed the most and it's also the movie that's my favorite out of the the series. So yeah, like I think this one was just really a lot, like a lot better than the other ones. Like in the first one it was mostly Katniss's narration and how like basically every so many sentences should be like for prim and like going on and on so I felt her like inner thoughts be really annoying but this one is where everything kind of picks up and you can see like everyone is each playing their own game in this and there's like all these twists and turns and I was just I really loved it I thought it was the best one out of the series I still am not a big fan of the um love triangle in here I think Gail I could tell Gail was a jerk from the first book and I don't know he just really drove me nuts but um yeah this is my favorite of the series I really enjoy it and I also kind of when I was looking at it, I was like I kind of want to reread it again because like I did really enjoy it but I feel like this one is the best one out of the trilogy overall so this next one is Siege and Storm by Lee Bordugo and this is the second book within the Grisha trilogy and I read this book series last summer actually and I loved I had some issues with the first and third one same with the Hunger Games but I love the second one and we also get introduced to this new character in here who's like the prince and he is my favorite character of all like I think he's just really funny he kind of reminds me of Thorne from the Lunar Chronicles um, but yeah overall I thought this book was the best it had like I was had the least amount of problems with it and I felt like this is where the plot really got starts to pick up and comes very complex so like overall this one is my favorite and I think it is the biggest too so that is always good but Mal always gives me a hard time regardless like I really hate him um, but other than that like this this was my favorite book of the trilogy this is another trilogy and it is The Winner's Crime by Marie Rutowski I read the first book and I wasn't I don't know like I just was like I don't really understand the point of this like the plot there wasn't much of a plot to it and so I decided to continue on with the series even though I wasn't really happy with it but I've heard of a lot of great things but this is where the plot gets very complex as well the third book had like I don't know the first book was good but it wasn't the best I still think the second book was the best out of the trilogy um, just with like everything that's going on and the politics in this book I think really kind of step up a bit and then you get to see like how everything has changing and just the, I feel like the stakes are a lot higher in here and there's just so much going on in that ending it's just crazy like holy smokes but yeah overall like this book was I feel like a lot better than the first one and the third one um, I feel like because this is like it showed really like the potential that the trilogy could have um, but I feel like the first and third book didn't really live up to that potential but this book really did so I have a feeling this one is going to be on a lot of people's like videos and it is a course in Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Mass and this is the I guess you can say this is the part one of three of the Rysan and Farah storyline but then I I don't know like what else the other ones are because there's gonna be like a spin-off series so I don't know I'm counting this as a trilogy in here uh, but nonetheless it's still the second book but I hated the first book I had so many issues with it with just like the domestic abuse and just abusive relationships overall and Farah was a very weak character and just was so desperate for love that she was kind of blind to the like 
blind to the abusive relationship that Tamlin that she had with Tamlin so that one I felt very problematic and just there was a lot of issues that I did have with it but then this book really did a big step up this is my favorite of the trilogy it is massive but like this is where everything kind of turns around and I feel like a part of that me is like a little iffy about that because I feel like the author heard all the criticisms about it and completely like changed the storyline I want to say just different aspects of it um so that part is a little bit ugh. but um yeah I think this is my favorite book in the series I'm sure all of you have heard of this but yeah I think this one is a lot of people's favorite book in that trilogy so yeah this, this one was the best out of all of them like hands down and then this one is also this one is a series and it is the crown of midnight uh by sarah g mass which is the second book in the throne of Gra glass series and this was the really like the only book in the series that had me really on the edge of my seat like i really enjoyed this one i felt like there was that sense of mystery and like there was a lot of stuff going on in here and I feel like after this book this is where the series really at least for me at least started to like decline a bit like I've just had a lot of disconnect with Selena and just like over the past few books like with Empire Storm and Queen of Shadows in particular I feel like I don't know there's just been that disconnect and this is like where you have like a really good connection with the main character and all of that other stuff but I feel like in the future books and especially in the first one as well there was a lot of issues there and I feel like especially in the later ones now like I'm more connected to the um like minor characters and I enjoy them more than Selena's part she was very much a mystery um like especially in Empire Storms like there was just like I was like I didn't recognize this girl like we don't I don't know there's a lot of issues with it you can go check out my review um but like I don't know like it was just a lot of disconnect but I feel like this is the one where I enjoyed the most and I feel like it's where the plot really starts to quicken and it's a lot more enjoyable I think this is my favorite of the series I told my friend that and she agrees this is the best book in the series um, so I don't know if that's just my opinion, but I've really enjoyed this book the most. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think some of the second book in the series is the best. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. So yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.